Greetings, salutations, and all around, how the hell are you? I know this isn't a let's play video, but it does have something to do with gaming, and what type of gaming? Well, portable gaming. Now, we all know over the years, especially us millennials, Growing up, getting Game Boy games, we just took them out of the box, tossed the box, maybe kept the instructions, but that was about it, because, you know, it's hard plastic already, it's portable enough, and as you could see, five-year-old me was a complete and total idiot because I already knew the name of the game, so why bother needing to look at the art? <laughs> well, of course, over the years, a lot of attempts have been made to sort of create new cases, either through the actual original paper cases, hunting down the actual original paper cases. Good luck with that dumpster dive. And of course, these little plastic clamshell beauties. But ladies and gentlemen, we can do better. Because we have the technology. I just got this in the mail from an Etsy shop that I ordered from that does nothing but create custom game cases for your games, and I have them all set, set out right here. My Pokemon Ruby, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Game Boy, Kirby's Block Ball, and Pokemon Silver Edition, which the battery kind of died on, so there's really no point in playing it anymore. So, open it up the box. Hey, Charlie, you know what they taught you? and. Time and retail, not to cut and cut toward you? Yeah, just throwing that out. Oh, they look so good. Woo! Oh man, this is awesome. Now what's weird is that I actually remember having the box for this, like actually trying to keep it, but I don't know. Now, as you can see, they do kind of resemble Nintendo DS cases, and I know Nintendo DS cases can store these, but to get the little insert like this is a bit of a hassle, so. And I'm guessing these were 3D printed, if not, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, there's a big enough slot for both, or actually all three types of the Game Boy cartridges, both advanced, regular, and color. And also a space for the instructions if you still have them. Now the only thing I do not know about is... Okay, yeah. Alright, this is pretty decent card stock, or paper stock. Good weight for it, good printing. He probably went out and professionally printed these out at, um at like an office depot or somewhere. And yes, go to customgamecases.com for all these lovely Game Boy case needs. And recently he just started doing NES cases. Those are gonna be the next round that I get. Oh, that's kind of funny. Like on the back it says, uh, only for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Micro, and Nintendo DS. See, this is the wonderful thing about having the box art again. It's so cool. All right, so we're gonna pop this on and yeah. Oh, so good. Actually, can you go up here? No. Yay! So there it is. Let's get go on the shelf. Pokemon Silva. Oh, that works like a dream. Yes! And of course, I still have the instructions for this. I just gotta find them. Alright, pop that one into. Oh, baby. And last but certainly not least, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And there they are. Now, I do believe these two have enhanced features that, if played on the Super Game Boy, uh, they have like custom borders. Yeah. Yeah, they have custom borders, um, they increase the color palette, but yeah, there you go. Boom jams, all four of them. I'm so happy. Ah! Now, of course, he doesn't have the entire Game Boy library. There are a few obscure ones that he 
doesn't have cases for, or doesn't have the box art for, I mean, he can just make the cases. It's really just a matter of obtaining the box art. And, you know, my copy of, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Hi. And Kyo Alien. Like that one, and of course, I'll put the artwork on here. It's basically the Game Boy version of Bomberman called Atomic Punk. So, yeah, that was a short little unboxing and reboxing video. Ah, <laughs> uh, the redundancy is not lost on me, folks. I love you too. So, we'll get back to basics and gaming pretty soon. I just wanted to kind of throw a little variety at the channel just because it doesn't it, it, it seemed to get a little bogged down by gaming and all that and you know I want I, I got my eye on expanding I don't know we'll see what happens as a result of this so thank you guys for watching hit the like button comment down below I will also leave a link to this guy's lovely store so you guys can hopefully Get your cases for, I don't know, Pac-Man. Actually, I don't think Pac-Man's one. So you guys can get your cases for Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> Alright, guys. Comment down below. Like. Subscribe. Definitely. And, of course, to be continued. I should mention that the guy did not pay me to do this. I just really wanted to get the word out there about this shop. Okay, bye.